Hey guys, it's Jerk there, Dragon from RDA. Got a chrono of a certain uh, special gun, you could say. You probably have never seen one of these on your field. This is the Marushan Derringer, and yeah, that is it. This is a very, very tiny pistol. And with that said, do not be expecting very high velocity out of this gun. The gas tank is only about that big. It, it's very, very small. I mean, the closest to compare this to would be the HSC Colt 25. Uh, this does use propane. It only holds two shots. It takes apart like the real Derringers. There you go, two shots at their fixed hop-up unit. Uh, but again, I I'd be surprised if this even goes over 200 feet per second. The gas tank is just very, very small. Uh, but it's a single action. Derringer holds two shots. It's overall pretty cool. So let's see how hot this thing shoots. All right, feet per second. Wow, 131 feet per second. That was actually the fifth shot I got off this. Uh, my chrono, for some reason, would refuse to read uh, the BBs, I don't know why. And also, important note, this gun fires bottom uh, bottom barrel first, then upper barrel, which um, that's probably why I didn't read it. 202. Reloaded. One six seven. One five two. One fifty. One seven eight. One six five. One seven eight. Okay, so I think we got starting to get an average here. Let's do just two more shots, just to be sure. One five one. One eighty. Okay, so I think that's enough shooting. Uh, I think we got an average. It's fluctuating a little bit. We got a shot go up to 202 feet per second, uh, one, and then one shot was down to 130, but all the others were at least 150. Uh, so I think it's it's going to be safe to say your gun's going to be shooting somewhere around 175 to 180 feet per second. Keep in mind, you're going to say, well, that's really weak. I got springers that shoot hotter than that. That's stupid. Why would you want a gun like that? It's a Derringer. And, I mean, look at the size of this thing. I mean, whoa, if I don't drop it. I mean, this thing is really small, and the gas tank is, like, that big. I mean, the closest thing you can compare this to is the HSC Colt 25. And even that has a bigger gas reservoir than this. So, I mean, that's really not that bad for how big this gun is, and that's actually kind of cool. Oh, yes, and that was off of one gas fill, all those shots. All right, so I re-gassed the Derringer, loaded it up with two more shots. I'm gonna shoot this about eight or 10 times or so. Uh, but let's go ahead and shoot the can. We're about 10 feet away. Uh, don't be expecting anything major out of it, but let's go ahead and do it anyway. All right, there we go, 10 shots into the can. All right, so here you go. Um, it did put a, quite a few dents in it, like I mentioned. Uh, you shouldn't have been expecting anything major out of it. See, there's a dent there. Uh, but mostly it just got dented all over the front side. Uh, this is one of those ones, probably not gonna have too much range because of the velocity, but I mean, with how small that Derringer is, this is like a backup to your backup. All right, so now you guys have seen what this is able to do. Again, the gun is really small. I mean, just look at the size of this thing. If you're expecting it to be shooting really hot, um, you just shouldn't be. I mean, about a hunt, 200 is really respectable for this, and this thing fluctuated from 150 to about 200 feet per second, averaging somewhere around 180 feet per second, and today it's about 45 degrees outside, so it's not the warmest of days. This is not a gas blowback, so in the cold this is going to continue to work. Velocity on a warmer day is going to be a little bit a little bit higher, but it won't be such a big factor like it is with the gas blowbacks, which is always a good thing if you live in a place like Portland where it's not exactly the warmest for gas blowbacks for nine months of the year. Now, if you're up close with this thing, you're going to feel it. I mean, 180 feet per second is not going to hurt, but you're, you're going to feel it. Further away, probably won't have as much range. Uh, you probably won't feel it at further ranges, but like I said, this is a backup for your backup, and it's a Derringer. Where can go wrong with a Derringer? This thing is very affordable. It's actually a under $100. There's a link down below in the video information to RDA's website where you can buy it. There's also a link down below in the video information to RDA's forum where you can talk to the community. So with that said, that is the chrono of the Marushan Derringer.
Shatsta. Man, this stuff tastes like crap.